My name is Marjorie Edwards, and my course project is on Hutchinson Guilford Progeria Syndrome, also known as progeria. So, what is progeria? It's an extremely rare and life threatening disease that drastically ages children. And the word progeria is derived from the Greek god of old age, whose name was Jiris. And the, so the name is actually pertaining to the old age appearance that these children have, as you can see here. So the etiology of progeria is from a mutation in the lamina gene that produces the lamin A protein called prodrin. And this protein helps to stabilize the nucleus of a cell. Uh, prodrin builds up in the cells over time and uh, ev uh, it causes aging. Everybody has prodrin, but somebody with progeria, it builds up a little bit faster. Um, and this mutation destabilizes the nucleus's membrane, which leads to the premature aging. And here's a picture that shows you how this happens. Here's a normal cell, and the lamina gene has the lamina protein where farnesyl attaches to help it reach the nuclear lamina uh, that attaches to the nuclear envelope. And once it gets to that nuclear lamina, the farnesyl is supposed to break off to help um, form this nucle uh, the nucleus wall. But with progeria, you can see the abnormal nuclear envelope. The uh, Lamina A protein and the farnesyl do attach to each other, but once they get to the nuclear lamina, the farnesyl does not break off like it's supposed to. So this causes the uh, nucleus to be unstable. So what causes this? Well, the cause is actually unknown, um, but it is not hereditary. It is believed, however, to affect the sperm or egg just before conception. Some signs of progeria would be the specific appearance of the face, which would be the prominent eyes, thin lips, a thin nose with a beaked tip, protruding ears, and a small chin. I'll show you a picture of this again in a shortly. Um, some alopecia, which is hair loss, loss of subcutaneous fat, joint abnormalities, age-looking skin, and failure to thrive, which would be not wanting to eat or just not being hungry. Um, symptoms would be this progeria actually affects numerous different systems throughout the body. So here's just a few that progeria does affect. Uh, the musculoskeletal system would be osteoporosis and arthritis. Um, some signs of these would be pain or broken bones. The endocrine system would be very low levels of insulin-like growth factor, which contributes to the carbohydrate homeostasis. So a sign of this would be lack of growing. Uh, the cardiovascular system is actually a big system that progeria affects, and some of these would be arthrosclerosis, stroke, and numerous cardiovascular diseases. And some signs of this would be chest pain or headache and dizziness. Um, and children actually end up dying from the cardiovascular diseases. Um, they don't die from the progeria itself, but from the, si the side effects of it, from this cardiovascular system. And... Uh, Children with progeria do not suffer typical aging features such as increased risk of cancer or neurocognitive decline. And here's just a picture of a child with progeria. You can notice the swollen veins, the alopecia, the absence of the eyebrows and eyelashes, the beaked nose, a shrunken chin, a narrowing of the chest here like an elder person, um, swollen joints, age spots, and they also have narrowing of the coronary artery diseases, which would be like the arthrosclerosis. So how is it diagnosed? Well, the initial for the initial diagnosis, it is through a clinical evaluation of noting these signs. Um, and then to prove that it is progeria, they would do a blood test that would confirm the specific genetic change in that lamina gene. 
So some treatment for progeria would be physical therapy, which would be for the degenerative joint diseases, such as arthritis. <clears throat> Even osteoporosis would benefit from physical therapy. A high cal calorie dietary supplements to prevent that weight loss, especially with a patient who has failure to thrive. Aspirin to prevent heart attacks or stroke. And they recently came out with a pharmaceutical medication that improves bone structure and hearing. It heightens the flexibility of the blood vessels as well as helps them to gain some weight. Um, it's called lonafarnib. And how it works, here's what a normal cell is supposed to look like. Here's a cell with hutchinson gilford progeria syndrome. And here's a cell from somebody that has progeria, but after they take the lonafarnib, it does not cure it, but it does help with that nuclear envelope. And here again, if you know, um, you can go back to this picture here. It shows that the farnacil, cell, again, once it reaches that nuclear lamina, it does not break off. But this drug does combat progeria uh, by blocking the addition of farnacil. So by taking this uh, lonafarnib, the farnacil does not connect to this laminate protein. So... This is called a Farnesyl transferase inhibitor. Um, prevention of progeria. There is no known prevention or cure for, for progeria. So hopefully one day that they, um, they find this cure. But when they do, they will also be making advances for regular aging. Because this progeria is in everybody. So here's just a group of children from all over the world who uh, have progeria. And I hope you enjoyed my presentation and learned something. Have a good night.